club head low, so low. Brilliant. Here's my finished position, club head low. It's not up here. Right, we're on. Talking pitching today. So, do you get risky when pitching? Do you hit the ground first? Do you thin them? It's, it's so common, isn't it? It's also cho short choice, club choice, all very important stuff. Today we're going to talk about a technique, a technique that can prevent you from having that poor strike. Let's, um, let's make your pitching better. So pitching, yeah, so when we put in, it's very easy to hit the ground first. So also, this, this is very heavy, we had a thunderstorm last night, so this is quite heavy, so I have to be very precise here. So it's very easy to hit ground first, take divot, it's also very easy to thin the ball. Club choice is very important, I, I use pitching wedge quite a lot around the green, just now I've got 54 for this exact shot. Um, think about that for a second, what club do you use? Do you always just jump for your 56, 58? Don't do that. The ball needs to run out naturally. So, cocking the wrists early, that's a power accumulator or a power source. So when we create this leverage between left arm and club shaft, there to there, that is a power source. We know that, I've created power. As I come through, that power is released. Don't really need it for these shots. Depends how far away you are from the hole, but I've got two, four, five. I've got 10 yards. 10 yards to up to the front of the green. Then there's probably about another 20 yards. I've got my 54 degree wedge. I don't need that power source. All I need here is to keep my arms nice and quiet. So the quieter my arms are, the more successful I'm going to be. I don't think about wrist cock. I just think about nice quiet arms and let it happen. I know what you're going to say though. But Steve, your wrists cocked when you played that. I saw the leverage between left arm and right arm. As they say in Scotland, aye, you did. But I didn't deliberately put that in. I didn't deliberately open the face and try and add a little bit of wrist cock to try and get this ball up and play something funky. There's no need. The margin for error is far too great. I think of a V and a U. If I cock my wrists early, I'm going to come down steep. So I'm going to come down steep, which is coming down this angle. I'm going out that angle, so that's a V-shape from there to there, and there to there. If my arms are dead, Jason Day, Patrick Reed kind of, definitely Jason Day, there, I feel as though it's this, I feel as though I'm there, to there. I'm not, because it cocks, but that's a byproduct of the distance my body has turned. But I feel as though I'm there, to there, there, to there, and it's more of a U-shape now. So now there's a U-shape arc to the, the bottom of my swing instead of a V. And then from there, I'm able just to clip the top of the turf and set the ball up. Natural loft as well in the golf club. The U-shape swing, that's the natural loft. Down the U-shape, natural loft, and away it goes. I don't have to open it and come down steeply. Too much margin for error. Natural loft, natural loft. Four arms rotate, four arms rotate. That's what we're working on. So stand there, <laughs> stand here, over your golf ball. Rotate your forearm, rotate forearms. Body turns. Club is in front of body, club is in front of body. It's so simple, so routine. There, just turn, turn. Another good shot. I've pretty much done nothing. That's key. The less we think. Paralysis by analysis, there's a thing. The less we think, the less goes wrong. Feel it, see it, feel it, play it. Again, turn, turn. Get the low point of the arc, brilliant. This one here, just gonna pick it off, turn, turn. Very good, very good. Now you can see, because of the conditions today, this, this is very seeded. The, um, the ground is very, very wet. And you can see that. You, could you imagine what would happen there? Oh my God, imagine what would happen if I got steep on that. If I got steep on that, Not great. So face on now, you should be able to see the arc be more of a U shape. There. Can you see the difference between the wrist cock V shape? All that leverage coming down and then getting thrown in there, all that power that we don't need. How many times do you see your pals take a shorter follow through than they do backswing? <sighs> all the time. They come in here, big long backswing because the club head's away up there. If my arm's there, my club head's here. Looks like a long backswing down to the end. They're like, oh, shoot. Please stop. 
We don't want that. There, there, club head's low, club head low, club head low, club head low, so low. Brilliant. Here's my finished position, club head low. It's not up here. These are very good strikes considering how soft this ground is. Again, club head low. Of course, it'll cock. But I'm not trying to. Low. Low. That was a really good shot, so I picked that one up a little bit better. But angle of attack. Shallow angle of attack. So I got steep on that one. What is shallow angle of attack? It's the way the club comes into the golf ball. Comes along the ground, closer to the ground earlier. Steep angle of attack. Boom, right to the back of the golf ball. So this is promoting a shallow angle of attack. We'll have a look at this up the line as I play the shot and you'll see where the ball's controlled. Shallow angle of attack. Nice and smooth, dead arms. Up she goes. Not bad at all. To make it go further, I just increase the range of motion. Further back. Further through, checking up nicely. Shallow angle of attack, low, low. It's good, nice clean shot there on that one. And again, nice and clean because angle of attack's nice and shallow. Dead arms. They're all acceptable. Now I was some, I don't know, 30 yards away there. The ball that's furthest away from the hole, this one here is one, two, seven feet. Boom. From 30 yards to seven feet. I'm taking that. So there we go. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. It's free of charge. Hit the bell notification for instant notifications of all my videos. And of course the thumbs up button. You like it, I like it. I'll see you in my next video.